And many, many times we also we talk about being conscious of something, all the unconscious aspect of self, being conscious of something. So I think we clearly it seems very, very important point. And uh, therefore, like um, uh, when, we, when we're talking like this morning session of practice, uh, which I have been uh, kind of emphasizing a lot, but I always wonder how much success I'm having or not in penetrating that communication or making some shift in people's mind. So, for example, like when we talk about the stillness, you know, um, in, a, in the teachings they talk about, we say like a changeless body, jura uh, me The essence is changeless. A essence is still. Essence doesn't shift, it's just always the same. And so to have access to that, for us, movement, it's always, you know, we know like we get bothered by movement, right? When a lot of things happen, big city, why big cities are very difficult? There's too much movement. Why big places and offices and things like that, why is it difficult? There's a lot of movement. Why a big family with a lot of emotions are difficult? There's a lot of movement. The movements interferes to connecting with that essence. So we do like when we go to the retreat, when we go away from people, when we're trying to stay alone. We, we, we do find um, uh, some sense of closer connection to that changeless essence. And then when we, when we are aware, when we're trying to be still, for example, basically means like an absence of movement but not necessarily that we are conscious of that. That's a very big distinction. Just you can be still, but you're not necessarily conscious of that. Therefore, the consciousness, the awareness, is a very important key. Look at the mountain. You know, it moves in the degree which we are not aware of. But does mountain is aware of its stillness? No. You go into the recording studio with a soundproof room, absolute silence. Do you think that room is aware of its silence? No. Or do you look in a beautiful, like a desert in a clear, crystal clear sky? <coughs> Incredible crystal clear sky. Do you think that that sky is aware of its clarity? No. But beautiful, clear sky, incredibly soundproof room, very steady mountain. But that stillness, that silence, that spaciousness, they're not conscious. It's not conscious of itself. That, that is what distinguishes us from that sky, that room and, and that mountain. 